Hello, this is my first ever video for YouTube. I recently bought a program called EEP and it is a railway simulation program. It's not like programs such as City Skylines, which is also classed as a simulation program. In EEP, you won't find lots of people running around building houses autonomously and you being left to manage money, resources and disasters. EEP is probably best thought of as a program that allows you to create a model railway. There's no automated people running around building houses by themselves or uh, causing disasters. You build your layout and then you can run the trains around that layout. So it is very much like having a, a real life model railway, but in a computer simulation environment. From an earlier version of EEP, I think it was version 10, they added a the ability for users to create some user code a program in a language called Lua um, so over here you can create your own program this is the program that I've written it's now just over 1500 lines long but what I've done is created a control program that can control any layout doesn't matter how complex it is doesn't matter how many trains there are on the layout it will get all the trains round between their various destinations it will stop them where you want them to and I can also build a control panel that will keep the uh, trains for example in a marshalling yard and let me release them as I want so um, within EEP you can define some routes within the standard version of EEP they don't seem to be much use at all however what I've done is use those routes to uh, define within my program where I want to take each train so each route has stops just like in a, the real world um, if you've got the um, 10 a.m. train from London Euston to Glasgow it that route will tell the train where it has to stop so if I take my blue loco uh, blue and cream loco here and put it onto the clockwise route I've got the clockwise route set up to go to platform one of the station and then over here and to stop in these two places and the if I set that off my control program will now get that to platform one once it's stopped there for a defined amount of time assuming I haven't got a control panel that keeps it there it will then take it over here stop it and bring it round. this layout I've used as a test bed because it, it it contains in a fairly small compact layout quite a few of the problem types of code the there's a three platform station over here where platform three is a dead end terminus platform there's a, then a section of double track line over to a marshalling or sidings area over here but that's then connected by a single track line back to the platform so here trains can go in both directions and then over here in addition to the terminus platform 3 there are two dead end sidings I'll just get this uh, blue shunting loco going putting that onto a, a route called shunting that will basically shunt between this siding here and these two sidings over here I'll also get my red loco over in the distance going I'm going to put that onto a route called loop which goes clockwise between platform 2 and this signal over here now if you look at the blue 
loco is just heading into this platform the control program that I've written automatically will work out how to get every loco from point A to point B so this blue loco its next destination will be platform 1 the control program will automatically work out how to get it from that from these lines over here to platform 1 similarly this blue shunting loco it's bringing into one of these sidings which is its next destination the control program will automatically work out it will have to reverse it to get it back out of this siding just like it did a, a few seconds ago um, on platform 3 when um, it took it in there in order to get it into this siding I'll just get the orange loco in the distance also going putting that onto a route that I've called local and local basically goes from a track here um, over in the marshalling area into platform 3 and back again so all four locos are now going by themselves I'm not doing anything the cursors just sitting here um, I can enjoy the, the layout and the trains and the control program that I've written is managing everything it's stopping the trains at their destinations for the amount of time that I want them it's working out how to get each loco from its current location to its next destination and it's avoiding the, the locos crashing the there's a set of improvements I still want to make to this code it airs on the side of caution in terms of some um, track routing options that it uh, takes um, but just developing this code this version of code was I thought would be quite a simple sort of bit longer than uh, a coffee break but not a terribly difficult task however EEP doesn't provide any debugger the it hasn't got a proper code editor um, so I've used note, notepad++ plus plus, uh, for, for that or notepad plus um, for code editing there's no debugger there's a few problems within Lua as a language as well it's not completely deterministic and one of the main problems is the interface between EEP and Lua has got very limited functionality so for example on initialization the code can't find out what trains exist or where they are um, it makes initialization incredibly difficult and problematic um, there's a there's a lot of improvement that could be done in the interface between EEP and Lua however you can create something like this I've thought about doing some tutorials um, to help people with the programming and, and also EEP there's a there's only a few EEP tutorials on YouTube they're fairly old they're from a previous version I'm now running version 13 although to be honest there's very very little difference between version 12 and version 13 um, one of a cosmetic issue is there's very few models available in EEP for uh, English and American buildings rolling stock etc uh, I'm sure that's something they're going to address in time from a Lua perspective from a programming perspective the they really need to do a, some improvement there because the current functionality is just very limited back to this I've now got the red uh, train coming into platform 2 it will stop there for I've defined a 
a stop time of 20 seconds. The red loco will then want to come around the single track back to the far signal over here. The cream and blue loco is currently waiting to use the single track and come to platform one. Um, this shunting loco uh, has decided it had two options. It was in this marshalling area. It could have come clockwise around the single track and into these sidings, which is where it wants to get. However, it was being blocked from that at the time by the orange one. So it's actually decided to take a clockwise route to bring it behind the red loco and then come straight into the siding it wants. The orange loco, the code is bringing it into here in order that it can shunt into platform one and then round. It wants to get to the tracks over here, but it needs to go in a clockwise direction. So it's coming up to this signal here, waiting for the cream and blue uh, loco to clear from platform one. Because the single track's free, the red loco has now been released and is merely going ground. The uh, blue shunting loco will come into platform two in order to then come into the sidings. The cream and blue loco has released from platform one, so the orange loco is now free to merrily go on. For some reason, the blue loco, the blue shunting loco seems to be a bit slow, so I'll perhaps try and speed that up a bit. Um, within the code that I've written, I've also um, got the code to automatically work out speed limits for different sections of track, depending on whether trains are going through switches, whether they're dead ends and therefore just shunting slowly into a dead end, whether the, the train is reversing. So I've tried to build quite a lot of functionality um, features into my own code. None of that is particularly easy with the current interface between EEP and Lua. Um, it, that interface could be improved considerably, but hopefully this fairly simple layout gives you an idea of what is possible. If you've got any comments, I'd love to um, love it if you could leave comments below. If you've got any questions, I'll try to reply to comments. As I say, this is my U first YouTube video, but um, if there's interest, I will consider uh, doing some videos to provide a tutorial on Lua and also e the current version of EEP in general. So let me know your thoughts. If you'd like to see more videos, uh, particularly on either EEP itself or uh, how to program it with Lua, then please let me know and I'll consider doing some more videos. Um, I'll let these trains just run for a few seconds, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what this layout is about. Um, but really this is just a, a showpiece for what can be done within Lua, within EEP. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it um, perhaps encouraging in terms of getting EEP and trying to program it yourself, creating your own layouts. So I hope you found it of use and thanks for viewing.